us up. Welcome back to another RAI Live Caregiver Moment. My name is Kion Church. They call me Mr. KC. They say it sounds a lot easier. Who am I? I am the number one big-hearted caregiver. And uh, today you got a very special day coming up. Um, what I do, first of all, let me just get it started. What I do is I help voluntary family members with distressed loved ones to become paid caregivers through our personal assistance service agency called Reliable Aid Inc. Now, today's episode is all about not getting sentenced to a life at a cold stop nursing home. Now, today, before we get into that, if anybody here in the studio audience, in the live broadcast audience, in Facebook world, and uh, wherever you at, if you'd like to get started with the Big Hearted Caregiver or Reliable Aid Inc. specifically, write in the comments, let's get started, and uh, we'll do everything we have to do to get back to you ASAP or Dapper. Now listen, I know it sounds crazy because we're so used to hearing about our loved ones getting sentenced to a cold stop nursing home only to be taken care of by strangers because the family didn't have the time, money, or the resources to be able to take care of the family member at home. Now listen, everybody needs to make a living and providing care can be very time consuming, making a decent paying caregiver job just out of reach for most family caregivers. So what if I told you that it was possible for you to get paid for doing the work that you're already doing right now with your loved one? Sound like a win-win? Huh, that's what I was thinking. Now listen, a lot of people, you know, sometimes we got these special situations, you know what I mean? We all got parents. Uh, you know, only time having parents is a bad thing is if you're trying to eat vegan, you know. But if you like me, you had a mother and a father who probably raised you and gave you the best things that they could give you. So now it's your turn to look out and do your job because they're probably getting a little older now. You know, if your parents are like mine, then, you know, you probably had to step it up and do more things. But the basis of what we're talking about today is not letting your mother or father get sentenced to a cold stop nursing home. Now listen, I told y'all the story before, I don't know if y'all remember, but my mom had a, she had ended up going to the hospital at one point in her life. And um, <clears throat> you know, when you older and you got healthcare conditions and uh, you older, they stick you in a hospital sometimes and then they make you go to nursing homes and they call it rehab, rehabilitation programs and things of that nature. And they ended up sticking my mom in a uh, in a rehab, you know, uh, basically a nursing home. And she was saying her number one thing to me, I, I remember I, I'm looking at her face right now. She said, boy, you better get me out of here. I said, mom, this is rehab. You're here to get better and this and that. She said, listen, you need to get me out of here. If you don't do nothing else, get me out of this rehab. You know what I mean? And I didn't really realize it, but what my mom was saying was, don't let me get sentenced to this nursing home. You know what I mean? People here don't care about me, you know. Uh, 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 I mean, thank God there was no COVID times during that time. But we all see what's going on in these nursing homes. You know, it's not really a safe environment. It's not really cool, kosher. You know, who wants their, who wants to have their people or their loved ones in that kind of jeopardy? You know? But the only thing, uh, the real problem here is that most people can't afford to stay home and take care of their mom and dad. You know? Uh, it's unfortunate, but... One person, it's hard for one person to take care of two people on one income, you know? And uh, I'm going to tell you, like I say every day, you know, money is not everything. But if you don't have any, it's going to be very hard to breathe. And I don't know how you're going to make your next move because you're too busy searching for air. <laughs> you know what I mean? And uh, we don't want that to happen to you. So if you think that connecting a paycheck to your pocket is a good thing, I want you to raise your hand. I also want you to leave me a message in the comments. Let me know that, look, I would like to get started. If your mother or father is getting Medicaid currently and they're in the long-term health care program, what I can do is connect a paycheck to your pocket. Reliable Aid Inc. is what's known as a, uh, a health care service provider for Medicaid. So what I do is I hire family members to take care of their loved ones. You know what I mean? Medicaid will hire us. What I'll do is I'll hire you and you will take care of your parents that you're already doing. And not only that, I'll put the paycheck in your pocket just, you know, just because, you know what I mean? Really, though, that's what we're here for. You know what I mean? Got to make some money. Tough times out here. We don't want to struggle. We definitely don't want to have our parents and loved ones struggling because we're struggling. That's crazy. We're here to take care of them. How you going to do it? You're going to call me. 302-689-3240. 302-689-3240. Let me connect the paycheck to your pocket. Reliable Aid Inc. is your personal assistance professionals. We watch over your family just like they were ours. 
And if your mother and father is in a long-term health care plan, we're going to get you paid for taking care of them. Now, listen, the last thing I want to say to you is do not let anybody shame or blame you into thinking that taking care of your parents is a bad thing because we're doing this for the blessings. You know what I mean? So if you want to be taken care of in the afterlife, look out for your parents and your folks. Call me if you need any help. 302-689-3240. 302-689-3240. I love you. Talk to you tomorrow. Thanks.